All right, so my jogging while black video is getting some traction, and already there's some uh, things that need to be put to put to rest. Uh, and it really is nicely summarized in this video by a guy, or this comment, sorry, by a guy named Gad D, who uh, really summar really summarizes the bullheaded problem that people are having with this video, or I'm sorry, with this commentary, with this issue in general, I should say. He says, guy breaks into a house, runs away, former cop drives up in front of him, asks him to stop, black guy decides to attack and grab the guy's gun, gets shot, had a history of violence and crime, wow, white people is so racist and shit. Okay, and he, he stylized it to uh, indicate the accent. Anyway, alright, first of all, there is a video, I'm linking to a video in the description from an Alabama attorney that... Uh, just lays out every single thing about this case in, uh, from a legal standpoint <clears throat> in extraordinary detail to show that there is absolutely nothing uh, for these, these two guys, the, the killers, to stand on. So, anyway, let's look at what you said then. I think the fact that you went ahead and said black guy is very indicative of your view on this. But anyway, breaks into a house. There is no evidence that he broke into a house. In fact, they were not responding to what they thought was a break-in uh, to a house that day. They thought they had seen somebody they recognized from security camera footage uh, from a previous incident. Runs away. Uh, he was not running away from them, uh, nor was he running. Is there any indication that he was running away from a, broken, a uh, burglarized house? He was jogging. Through, the, through a neighborhood that he lived in. Then, a um, former cop drives up in front of him. Actually, the, uh, the, cop and his, the former cop and his son... Now, by the way, former cop is meaningless. Even if you are a police officer, if you are a police officer on active duty, you are not allowed to detain somebody unless you see them committing a crime. And even, uh, even in the case of the... the case of matching the description of someone they're looking for, there's still constraints on that. But uh, irrespective of that, a, be, the fact that he's a former police officer means absolutely nothing. Police officers are capable of flying off the handle. Police officers are capable of committing hate crimes. That is well documented throughout U.S. history. The, uh, this is com that is completely irrelevant. Being a former police officer does not give you carte blanche to go around harassing people. Then uh, he did not drive up in front of him. He followed him. The two of them followed him in their truck. He tried repeatedly to lose them, and they would. They continued in pursuit of him. Then they finally got around in front of him, and you. Uh, and when they told him, they asked him to stop. They didn't just ask him to stop. They confronted him with guns, with weapons, and told him to stop. They do not have the right to do that. Uh, they were not. Um, they and now moving on to black guy decides to attack and grab the guy's gun. He was not attacking. He was not attacking. And the fact that she say black guy attack uh, attacks sounds real fucking racist to me. And like I clarified in my last video, I'm someone who thinks that uh, political correctness, PC culture, is a load of horse shit. So the fact that I'm willing to get worked up and passionate about somebody uh, being racist says a lot for how racist it actually is. As much as much as I don't care for uh, as much as I don't care for political correctness nonsense, actual racism, actual hate crimes really boil my blood, and, it's, and I am even it's boiled even harder by people who apologize for them. Then he gets shot. And, uh, no disagree. Uh, no disagreement there. Had a history of violence and crime, dude. You, this is what really gives it away, and this is a problem that needs to be addressed. I cannot. Um, the, again, at the risk of sounding like the PC police, actually not like the PC police because this is a legitimate issue, but just like in the George Zimmerman case, there is a mindset among some people, some white people, in the United States that they think they have the right to police black people. They think they have the right to stop black people wherever they go and uh, demand to know what they're doing like they are somehow on some kind of tier below them. It's almost like they think they are supremely above them or uh, superior to blacks or something like that. And this is a perfect example of that. The fact that he had a history 
of uh, had a history of violence and crime does not factor into this situation. That is in the past. He is not uh, for uh, for all of those incidents. He has done his time and done his uh, you know done his penance to society and all that paid his due to society and all of that. But even more so, it does not at any point in any way, shape, or form give these two yokels the right to go chase this kid down and kid, he was an adult, go chase this guy down and attack him. And they were, as the video I uh, put in the um, description will uh, further explain, they had no right to claim self-defense here. You don't get to chase somebody down in a truck, go up and confront them with guns, and then and then try to claim self-defense when you are the instigating party. That is absolute bullshit. That is absolute horseshit. And there is a real problem that we are seeing here, which is there are these people like Gaddy and like these two guys that shot Ahmed Arbery, who, and like George Zimmerman with Trayvon Martin, who think they have a right to go around policing the behavior of black people and go around, they think they have the right to treat, you know, to go around acting with some kind of vigilante, uh, enacting some kind of vigilante control on blacks, and it's a carryover from the civil rights era. These people sadly still exist. These people who haven't learned that just because somebody's a different skin color than you doesn't give you the right to go around uh, controlling their actions or demanding to know what they're doing. That guy, th these two guys had absolutely no right, zero, none, whatsoever, to go confront this guy. He was completely and totally and without exception in the right to defend himself. It's absolutely unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable that this mindset persists. I can't. I, I truly can't relate to that. Maybe it's because I live in a majority black neighborhood, but the the sight of a black man running down the side of the road would not raise any any suspicion of anything in my mind. I mean, you know, it's like uh, if it's like you know, in my community there was a break in, and the only thing they knew was that the guy was black. That would uh, that that would only indicate about 98% of the people that live in this, or implicate about 98% of the people that live in this neighborhood. So maybe it is just a, a, a thing of, uh, you know, singling out the, the one person in the neighborhood that they want to go after or something like that. I don't know. But what I do know is that all you're going to do with this attitude, you are never going to police black people into submission. All you're going to do is make this race, uh, this race relations problem that we have get worse. It's going to take, to move past, uh, to, to move past racial tension, it's going to take people on both sides just forgiving each other. That's the thing. That's the, that is the solution and the answer in all of this. We have got to learn how to forgive each other, and we've forgotten how to do that. And, you know, it's kind of why, not to get moralistic and preachy, but it's kind of why the most important moral teacher in all of human history, the one, out, the one whose teachings have carried us through the last 2,000 years, stressed the importance of forgiveness and love for your enemies, stressed that above all else, because he realized that without that, this whole civilization thing is going to go completely flat. So go ahead, tease me about getting worked up and passionate in this video. Tease me about that. Yeah, you got me a little ticked off. You got my blood pressure a little up talking about this bullshit. But you know what? It will never change the fact that you are a racist who is defending racist murderers.